quarterback Justin Fields had his best practice ever. And we need to talk about it. What's going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking. Of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video, folks. And here's the thing. All right. Every day we have practice for the Bears. And every day Justin Fields keeps getting better. And yes, we're talking about practice. In the words of the great Allen Iverson, practice. We talking about practice. Yes, we are because practice makes perfect, right? We all know the saying. And so uh, today, Justin Fields is actually trending on Twitter. I've never seen this before. This man was trending on Twitter because the Bears had joint practice with the Miami Dolphins. And he was absolutely lighting up. The Dolphins, all right? He was absolutely lighting up in practice. I'm talking about uh, masterful in the red zone. I'm talking about literally his only incompletion being a drop. Just absolutely flawless execution of the offense. And the reason I want to talk about this is not just to highlight how good Justin Fields is progressing along in his plan so far in practice, but also the fact that this is exactly the type of performance that can throw a wrench into Nagy and Pace's plans. You see, I told you the entire time Nagy and Pace are going to want Justin Fields to just sit while they let Andy Dalton start and, you know, play out the season so that they can buy themselves more time in their positions. But Justin Fields said, oh, no, I, I don't play by those rules. I play by my own. And he's doing what we all think Justin Fields is capable of doing, which is absolute domination. So all the beat reporters at practice, everybody that I was reading about that was covering that practice said Justin Fields was the best player on the field, and it wasn't close. So this just goes to show you the gap between Fields and Dalton is closing. Now, Dalton has had, had been solid in practice, and Justin Fields, even though he's impressive, had some you know rookie struggles that you expect and, and things like that. But now, now, Justin Fields, things are starting to click. And he is starting to really ramp it up, and the gap is closing. And so now the media is really going to start to get to Matt Nagy and tell him, listen, when you start Justin, is there any chance you start Justin? So the pressure is going to build and cook. And now you just wait. If Justin Fields lights it up in preseason, oh boy, it is about to get real tense in that Bears coaching room because they know they can't sell us Andy Dalton for much longer. Justin Field is going to play a lot in preseason. And if he lights it up, I'm talking about just dominates. Yeah, Matt Nagy is going to have a hard time not putting this kid on the field. I still say Andy Dalton, by all accounts, should be the starter for week one in terms of what the Bears are saying. I'm not saying he should. I'm saying he probably will be. But Justin Fields is coming. He's coming. And so I wanted to give you guys this update that, listen, every one of you guys, myself included, has a date in mind, right? Maybe it's week four, maybe it's week eight, week 10. And, well, week 10, the Bears have a bye. But week 11, it's coming. And one of my bold predictions was Justin Fields would force, would literally force the Bears to start him because Andy Dalton would either be horrible or Justin Fields would be that damn impressive. And it looks like we might see that scenario play out. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. If you guys agree or disagree, the gap is closing. It's going to get real tense. I'm excited to watch Justin Fields in preseason. Are you? Let me know down below as well. Thanks for watching.